Hi, I'm Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style Blog. And I'm Jill Shivers from ShopYourWardrobe.com. Now, today we're going to talk about how clothing is not fine china. You don't keep it for good. Mm. It's actually more like milk which goes off. <laughs> Yes, yes, so unfortunately clothing does not come with a use-by label, although some of them probably should. Yes, because it, look, you might get some pieces that last a lot longer, they're the UHT milk of the world, <laughs> but most of it, fashion, comes in and goes out. Mm, yeah. And if you keep holding on to that good stuff for the few times you ever get to go out somewhere good enough for it, yeah. um, it ends up going out of fashion while it's still got great wear left in it. To me, and that's a huge waste. Yeah, from a cost per wear perspective, it's fairly appalling. But to me, the other thing as well is, I think the message you send to yourself when you always reach for second best in your wardrobe or the cheaper items is that you're not worth it. You're not good enough to wear some, some of your good stuff every single day and this doesn't mean wearing a ball gown into the office if you work from home but it might but be. you can if you want to <laughs> yes yes i think they're beautifully with gumboots i hear um but it does mean adding in some of your good pieces that you would would previously only wear um, on a special occasion or if you were going into a very corporate setting or delivering a presentation bringing those things in and mixing them in so it's not necessarily transferring a totally good outfit into a casual arena it's mixing it in and, and making an ensemble that's, that's new and different by blending those items in and it's very important when you think about that whole second best concept mm. to remember that, you know, if it's second best, why are you keeping it? Yes. Like, I have a kind of policy that really you only need one set of around the home clothes, or mm. maybe two, one for summer, one for winter. You didn't tell me this before I grew my wardrobe to the size <laughs> that I did, but yes, I understand. But yeah, so because we don't need, those clothes don't make us feel great. Yeah. And so having a whole lot of stuff that you actually don't want to be caught dead in by anybody, in fact, you don't even want to answer the door in, is yes. just a waste. Yeah. What you want is a wardrobe full of clothes that when you put them on you feel great. Yes. And this concept of second best I um, sort of reunited with fairly recently when I did a couple of wardrobe cleansers. And I was using that as a criteria to say, do I already have um, at least one item in this category, say it's orange long, long sleeve tops. Yes, I have a few of them. Two or three of them are far, are far from best. Let's call them second best at best. Why am I keeping them? On what occasion would I need to wear these orange long sleeve tops one after another? Never. Um, so why don't I get rid of the second best ones and just have the, the best ones there? So that on those occasions when I wear that item, I've only got the best as a choice to wear. So if you, can't, if you haven't got it in your wardrobe, you can't reach for it. Yeah. Because it's very easy when you're holding on to these things to reach for what is not great. Because you think, well, I want to keep that for good. And today is not a good enough day. Well, wh what day is the good enough day? Yes, if not today, when? You, know, you could be dead tomorrow. We just don't know. Mm. And so I think it's like, wear it now. Wear it while it's in fashion. Yeah. Wear it while it's... You know, while you love it, yeah. wear it and and help it. Let, let it make you feel great. Yeah. Don't hold on to it. Yeah. Thinking that one day will be the better occasion mm. because today is the best occasion. It certainly is, and that also lends me to think about when you do go shopping: is don't buy second best. No. Um, you know, where you have a choice, or you're looking at something and you think, if this was already in my wardrobe, would it qualify as best? If the answer is no, it wouldn't, then leave it in the store. Um, it really doesn't have any place in your wardrobe. No, there's no point. And so it, things like when you think second best, it's things like it doesn't fit quite right, like you put it on, maybe it's not quite long enough, so you mm. know, it's always going to be riding up, maybe it's a little bit itchy, it's a bit scratchy, it's, yeah. you know, there's something where doesn't make you feel great when you're putting it on. My big thing for second best recently is the really generic items. Yes. Uh, the ones that have no particular quality to them. There's nothing actually wrong with them, but there's nothing particularly interesting about them yes. either. Um, that, that, you know, if, if my house, you know, was, yes, exactly, <laughs> spontaneously combusted and that was all that was left to wear, yes, I could wear it, but there's nothing special but about it. But wouldn't be the piece you'd grab if you had to run out. This is true, I probably wouldn't grab any of them, but, and, and I think that, that that's an important thing to, to remember about um, what is second best for you, it, it, it could be quite different to what is second best to somebody else. Yeah. So we want you to just go away and think about your wardrobe and have a look in there, have a look at the pieces that you don't reach for. Mm. Because usually there's some reason you're not reaching for them. Yes. Um, 
But have a look at them. Are you holding on to them first or are they second best? Get rid of the second best and then play with those great pieces that you love, that you're holding on to. You think maybe one, you know, when it's a better occasion, I'll wear it and I wear it every day. Yeah, because I love what you said at the beginning. Fashion is not fine china. Yeah. No. It's so, like, you know, that goes through generations so much. Yes, exactly. It's not going to be passed down. Yes. yes. So that's just something to ponder on um, yeah. when you think about your wardrobe.